here we go with a whole bunch of stuff now. I got three buttons and a servo. Now again, you need a five volt supply for a servo. So that's the reason to use an extension board uh, like the kitten bot that produces uh, five volts. So I have a five volt input and it will send five volts to these pins down here. All the power pins in this big array will only get three volts. So you gotta make sure you wire um, the servo, as I showed in the last video, um, to the five volt power, in the ground, and then the signal to one of, one of your pins. I have the signal going to pin one. Then I've got three buttons, and buttons are nice and simple because they're just two wires. So I wired them to uh, pins two, three, and four, the signal pin, and the power pin is what I wired them to. And I did that, and here's my code for it. Again, the red uh, code is just under pins, down in make code. Um, if digital read pin equals one, that means you know, when I press the button, it sends power through to the signal. Um, set my servo to zero. If it's a uh, pin three is one, set it to 90. If pin four is one, set it to 180. So I've got four things plugged in here. You can't do that on the micro bit itself. You can only plug in three things. And even those plugs aren't, you know, so secure sometimes. Um, so now you need an extension board because i got four things to plug in. Oh, uh, there's also a little thing hiding over there. Um, just my on start. Um, initial the servo to zero and disable, LED enable false, disable the uh, 5x5 array on the micro bit because um, there's some conflicts. It, whoa, I just got rid of that. I didn't want to. Um, there's some conflicts on the uh, board if you don't get rid of those. So here we go. Uh, let's turn the power on. And it's at zero already. So as I press buttons, my servo is, my servo is doing what I told to do. Um, so I would label the buttons, obviously. So this is like you, you know, when you create a, a movable scenery uh, that you're creating it to, hey, I want to go to that point, go to that point, go to that point. And you don't have to use 0, 90, and 180. Those are just the uh, typical, you know, far ends and the middle. Go to whatever you want. Um, again, servos, this is, this is an inexpensive servo, so it's not going to do a perfect 180. If you want perfect 180 degrees of motion, you're going to have to spend a little bit more money on servos. These are only a couple a buck, a couple bucks a piece, two bucks a piece at most. Um, and again, I've got the buttons wired into pins, signal pin and power pin. I could have put them up anywhere except for 19 and 20 on this device because this device uh, keeps 19 and 20 just for I squared C sensors. Um, and again, the servo I could have put on anything, um, except I have to put the power to five volt. And that's, you know, using buttons, servos, and there's a reason to use an extension board. So I got four things I need to plug in. You know, you might want to plug in more than four things even. There's all of these pins you can still play with. I could have lights on this, so a set of LEDs. My code could say, hey, when you're at zero, go this color. When you're at 90, go this color. When you're at 180, go this color. So I'd just be adding some stuff into the code and adding uh, strips of LEDs or even just single LEDs if you wanted to, um, like, pot, like um, power on and off kind of things. So lots of things you can start adding when you got all these pins to attack. Yes, you're going to need some more wires that's always a thing i've got alligator clip to socket wires jumper wires for all of these um, buttons and then for the um, servo i've got pin to socket because the servo comes with its own little socket set up but i can't use it because that, that would be only three volts so i gotta use some jumpers to get to the five volt thing so there we go using buttons with a servo and a little uh kitten bot io bit thank you